Hey, what's going on guys? It's OmniArc, and uh, today I'm bringing you another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay commentary. So, uh, if my voice sounds a little raspy, that's because it's 7.53 in the morning. So, gotta have that coffee. This was the only time I could really make a commentary, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's go for it. And uh, let's let's just hope it comes out good and that, you know, I'm not... My brain is, like, all scattered when I first wake up, so... Uh, but anyway, um, I wanted to talk about today the uh the copyright laws that we have in place here in the united states and how i what i know about them you know just the mere bare bones things uh about them uh i'm obviously you know i don't know anything i don't really know the legal aspects behind any of this stuff that's not my major it's not my forte uh i just know what i know and basically just common sense in my opinion uh based on you know <clears throat> what what the kind of world we live in today as opposed to what the world was like when the copyright law was written and decided upon. Um, so, basically, uh, if you guys aren't really familiar with copyright, basically what it is is uh, you're not allowed to profit or uh, you're not allowed to profit off of somebody else's work, uh, which makes sense. Uh, you, you know, you can't if someone makes a song and you take that song and you put it on a disc and you sell it you know you're not allowed to do that because it's not your your creative right to uh, take that music you didn't make it so unless you have permission from the person who made it you can't sell it and profit off of it which makes sense you know because someone could put uh, you know their whole life's work into making a huge catalog of great music and then someone just comes along and is like oh well you know nobody's heard of this guy so I'm just gonna take it all and use it to benefit myself because I'm better at business than him you know so obviously that was, you know, how this all got put into place to protect artists and, you know, protect basically anybody, any business from having their ideas or their work taken from them without proper uh, credit given or without permission being asked. So, you know, that's fine. That makes sense. But in the day and age of YouTube and not even YouTube in general, but just the whole internet in general, where in less than five minutes, I guarantee you, I can have a full album downloaded on my computer that isn't even released yet. I don't think putting music in the background of a YouTube video should be the primary concern of record companies. Now, obviously, you know, for this video, I'm mainly going to be talking about music because it applies the most to uh, to YouTube, but um, you can even argue it with anything else. Uh, but, you know, a lot of times... In, uh, in my videos, I'll put some music in the background of, you know, my commentary just because, you know, it's something else to listen to, it sounds nice or whatever, and it sounds a little more professional, and I put a little, little work into it, and, uh, you know, I make sure that I use music that I can't really, I mean, I guess someone could claim copyright for it, but, uh, you know, the way I do it is I have, it's like recreated instrumentals, and nothing is, or nothing is uh, official, everything is, you know, fan-made stuff, so it's not like a big major company's um, products, but, you know, even if it were, what I'm doing, what I'm doing is I'm creatively taking their work, I'm putting it behind my work, which is my gameplay, uh, my commentary, you know, and, and putting the whole package together, you know, I have my banner and everything, you know, this is my creative package, this is, this is the things I enjoy and the thing, the, all the work that I put in, personally, into, you know, bringing this to you guys on YouTube, putting it on your, on your, uh, on your computer, putting it on your desktop, whatever, and having you be able to watch this, this commentary, you know, to me, that's a form of, I guess you could say artwork in a way, but I wouldn't, you know, I'm not going to go and argue that far, but, you know, it's a, it's a form of expression at least, and, you know, it, if I, if I make a profit off of a video and there's a song in the background, I'm not making money because of the song. The song is not what's making me the money, and I think that's where the confusion uh, comes in, where, you know, there's these artists that are you know, so gung-ho, I mean, Taylor Swift is one example, because I just did that video about her and the whole Spotify thing, um, you know, they're so gung-ho about, you know, copyright, like, they're super supportive of copyright law and everything, and they should be, they should be, uh, you know, supportive of copyright law, because it, it's what protects them and their rights, however, if I, like I said, if I put their music behind my commentary, 
the, I'm not making money off of their music. Their music is just an auxiliary. It's just an, 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 an additional piece. It's just one thin layer of all the work that I put in. People don't come to my videos to listen to the, the very low background music. You know, so for any any of my videos to be taken out, none of my videos have been taken down yet. Um, it's not, it wouldn't be reasonable if they were, but I'm just saying, if they were, or ha if they are, you know, it's 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 stupid because the the copyright law is outdated to the point where I'm being penalized for for you know something that isn't that can't even be detrimental to the to the artist whose work I would be using. You understand, like. No one's going to download my YouTube video and just to listen to the music. You know, it's not taking money from the artist's pocket and putting it, you know, and, you know, someone's basically stealing. You know, that's basically what it is. They don't want people stealing their work uh, because then they're not going to get paid for it. But like I said in the beginning of the video, you know, I can have, you know, a brand new album that probably isn't even out yet downloaded on my computer within the next five to ten minutes just from looking a little bit because I know where to look you know so I don't think the problem here is very shallow background music and YouTube videos I think the bigger problem is the fact that music is a data file and it can be shared on the internet no matter what you try and do uh, it's gonna be shared on the internet in some way or another unless you're going to restrict the internet like it's you know communist China um, so you know <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know, I just wanted to make this video because, you know, if I put someone's song in the background and one of you guys in the comment section is like, oh, that's such a sick song, like, what is it? And I tell you, oh, it's uh, All I uh, all I Do by Logic or whatever, and you're like, oh shit, who's Logic? I've never heard of, you know, whoever that is. And you look him up and you're like, oh damn, this kid's got some dope music. Then you're more enticed to buy it, you know. Obviously, there's always going to be the chance that you're just going to pirate it. But that's not your fault. But there is the chance that you will purchase the music, and that that chance and that opportunity wouldn't have been there had it been for my video and the the music in my video and me exposing people to that sound. So where I'm not profiting directly off of music. Yeah, okay. If I monetize a video, I might make ad revenue, but not because of the music. However, because the music was there. I can put profits in the pockets of the actual artists by referring to them and spreading word and it's free advertising for them basically. So anyway, this is just my opinion on uh, the, the copyright law and how ridiculously outdated it is. And uh, if you guys have any comments on this issue, definitely drop a comment in the comment section below telling me what you think. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Share the video if you enjoyed it because that helps me so much more than you even know. Like seriously, it does. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. I'm New York out.